Good morning, my dear students. In this video presentation, as usual, we will discuss some more problems <coughs> meant for class 12 of CDSE, which are very often tested in the board. The first problem meant for today goes like this. If A, B are independent, so show that subdivision 1, A dash B are also independent, subdivision 2, A, B dash are also independent, and A dash, B dash are also independent. Those are the three subdivisions. I just repeat, if A, B are independent, show that A dash, B are also independent, A, B are independent, A dash, B dash are also independent, A, B are independent. Which implies P of A intersection B is equal to P of A into P of B. It's a standard result. Two events are independent if and only if P of A intersection B is equal to P of A into P of B. Remember that rule. That is, the occurrence or non-occurrence one event does not affect the occurrence or non-occurrence of another event. Those two events are said to be independent events. When they are independent, probability of the intersection is equal to product of the individual probabilities. This is called multiplication theorem on independent events. This is called the multiplication theorem on independent events. Let me just think about the diagram here. Okay, this is my A, this is my B, this is my A intersection B, this is my A intersection B dash, this is my A dash intersection B. Okay, now let me just draw, think about P of B. P of B can be written as P of A intersection B union A dash intersections B. B. See the diagram. When two events are mutually exclusive, then product of the union is equal to sum of the individual probabilities. See, there is no common element here. They are mutually exclusive. Therefore, I can very well write this as P of A intersection B plus P of A dash intersection B since A intersection B comma A dash intersection B are mutually exclusive. There is no common element. There is no common element. We have to think about the elements. Don't think about the border over here. There is a border here. Don't think about the border. Now, which will automatically imply you P of A dash intersection B is equal to P of B minus P of A intersection B, which is nothing but P of B minus P of A into P of B. This is from 1. I'll replace from 1, which will be, now take P of B as common, 1 minus P of A. 1 minus P of B is nothing but P of A dash. Therefore, P of A dash intersection B will imply you P of A dash into P of B implies A dash comma B are also independent. They are also independent. This is all you get the proof. For the second one, let me start with P of e, A, sorry, which can be written as P of A intersection B dash union A intersection B. See the diagram which is equal to P of A intersection B dash plus P of A intersection B. The same reason, a similar reason you write, star I am writing, similar reason you write, which will imply you P of A intersection B dash to B is equal to P of A minus P of A intersection B which is P of A minus P of A into P of B from 1 replace from 1 now take P of A as common minus P of B which is P of A into P of B dash therefore P of A intersection B dash is equal to P of A into P of B dash implies A comma B dash are also independent or also independent. Let me just repeat the proof once again because I need more space to write the third result. Let me start with P of B. If A intersection B union P of A dash intersection see the diagram. This is A intersection B dash. This portion is A dash intersection B. This is the common portion. 
but there is no common element between these two now for probability of union equal to sum of the individual probabilities now for p of a dash intersection b become p of b minus p of a intersection b take this to the other side p of a intersection b can be written p of a into p of b from 1 now take p of b as common i will get the result p of a dash intersection b is equal to p of a dash into p of b therefore a dash b are also independent now start with similarly p of a can be written as p of a intersection b dash union a intersection b see the diagram but they both are again mutually exclusive the star means write the reason similar to that now p of a intersection b dash now becomes p of a minus p of a intersection b which will imply you p of a minus p of a into p of b from 1 take p of a as common p of a into or minus p of b p of a into p of b dash therefore i come to the conclusion a comma b dash are also independent i wrap this portion for the third result for the third part i'll just wrap this portion for the third result just start with p of a dash intersection b dash let me try what happens this is my third submission p of a dash intersection b dash can be written as a union b the whole dash this is by De Morgan's law. This is one of the De Morgan's laws, which is equal to one minus p of a union b. This is called complement law. This is called complement law. One minus I will use p of a plus b of p of b minus p of a intersection b by addition theorem. Addition theorem of two events is equal to 1 minus p of a minus p of b plus p of a into p of b. This is from 1. Now, which is 1 minus p of a, take minus p of b as common. Again, 1 minus p of a. Take 1 minus p of a as common. Therefore, this is equal to p of a dash into p of b dash. Therefore, P of A dash intersection B dash is equal to P of A dash into P of B dash implies A dash comma B dash are also independent. They are also independent. Therefore, whenever A comma B are independent given in the question, I will be able to take it for granted. A dash comma B are also independent. A comma B dash are also independent. A dash B dash are also independent. Proof of which is given in this particular problem. Let me repeat the third result. P of A dash intersection B dash can be written as P of A union B whole dash by D Morgan's lamb, which is 1 minus P of A union B by complement lamb. P of complement of any event is equal to 1 minus P of the event. Then apply addition theorem on any two events P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Take minus sign inside 1 minus p of a minus p of b minus into minus plus p of a into p of b that is from 1. Now I keep this as it is from the third and fourth. Let me take minus p of b as common. 1 minus minus p of b into 1 is minus p of b minus p of b into minus p of a is plus p of a into p of b. Now take 1 minus p of a as common. 1 minus p of a into 1 minus p of b will give you p of a, a, a dash into p of b dash again by complement lab. Now for I started with p of a dash intersection b dash, I ended with p of a dash into p of b dash. Now for a dash b dash are also independent i come to the conclusion a dash b dash are also independent they are also independent okay now let me just uh, think about uh, one more uh, result one more problem just see here what happens what is given let us just see let me just take one more example one more problem on probability the question given is P of A is half, P of B is 1 by 3, P of A intersection B is 1 by 6. Find P of A union B. I will just write the problem. P of A is 1 by 2, P of A is half, P of B is 1 third. P of A intersection B is 1 6, 1 by 6. Find P of A union B, P of A dash intersection B dash, 
then of course p of a dash intersection b this much i should do now answer p of a union b apply addition theorem p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b actually the proof is very simple i'll uh, tell you quickly z of a and b by n of s can be written as n of a plus n of b minus n of a plus b by n of s because in the numerator if i add the number of elements in a number of elements in b the uh, common elements would have been added along with a once along with b one another time second time or so subtract n of a plus b then divide individually by n of s will give you this result p of a plus p of b minus p of a the proof is very simple i have given you the proof also let me substitute the values 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6 now lcm is 6 3 plus 2 minus 1 which is 4 by 6 which is 2 by 3 3 2s are 6 2 3s are 6 5 minus 1 is 4 4 by 6 happens to be 2 by 3 this is my first addition now p of a dash intersection b dash which is again p of a union b whole dash by de morgan's law which is p 1 minus p of a union b which is 1 minus 2 by 3 which is 1 by 3 then of course p of a dash intersection b c the diagram use the diagram this is a intersection b this is a dash intersection b this is a this is b to find this this is sorry a intersection b dash this is a a dash intersection b leftmost is a intersection b dash sorry leftmost is a intersection b dash okay now let me try p of b can be written as p of a intersection b union a dash intersection b which is p of a intersection b plus p of a dash intersection b c they both are mutually exclusive Therefore, P of A dash intersection B to B is equal to P of B minus P of A intersection B. Let me substitute the values 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. Anyway, 2 minus 1 by 6. This is again 1 by 6. Gets reduced to 1 by 6. Let me just repeat the whole process. P of A and B is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B by addition theorem for any two events. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. LCM is 6. 3, 2, so 6. 2, 3, so 6. It's already 6 is there. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 by 6. 2, 2, 2s are 4. 3, 2s are 6. Now P of A dash and B dash. P of A and B whole dash by D Morgan's law. 1 minus P of A and B by complement law. 1 minus 2 by 3, which is 1 by 3. Now see the diagram. P of B can be written as P of A and B union A dash and B. See this union, this will be P of B. But they both are mutually exclusive. Whenever I get addition, P of A dash intersection B now becomes P of B minus P of A intersection B. It's 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6. 2 minus 1 by 6 is reduced to 1 by 6. This portion is A intersection B dash. This portion is A dash intersection B. Similar way, if you re are required to find P of A intersection B dash, P of A minus P of A intersection B, I'll get. If it is asked, you can do that also. Okay. For uh, as usual, I'll check for the calculations. Then I, I'll upload. Thank you, students, for patient watching.